What's up guys, it's Pooch Cake. I'm back and shooting our video. Have a really, really nice video in store for you guys today. As I'm sure many of you know, I went up to Cooperstown for induction weekend. Had a great weekend, bought some really nice stuff, and got a few really nice autographs in person. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I got. First, at the induction itself, I picked up this program featuring the six inductees on the cover. Figured I would need proof that I was actually there. So bought that, actually bought a couple of them. Not sure what I'm going to do with the second one yet, but figured it'd be nice to have multiples. As was, it was nice to have several multiples of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. After the induction, I ran straight to the Hall of Fame and bought induction cards of all six inductees. Just show you guys what they look like, because I know a lot of you like getting these signed. Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin. And if you want, you could pause it and read what the plaque says if you guys didn't uh, hear it on MLB Network. Bobby Cox, Frank Thomas, Joe Torre, and Tony LaRusso, which is probably going out TTM tomorrow. Determined to be the first person to get a postcard signed by him. So... Uh, with purchases, also bought a couple of, well not bought, got these for free with a purchase. A couple of baseballs. First one being a Joe DiMaggio ball signed by old-time Yankee Shane Spencer. Signed Grand Slam 927-98. It was a game-winning Grand Slam, I think, on Joe DiMaggio Day. I'm not entirely sure. I was two when that happened. Next ball, hopefully, I one day, we'll see this guy in the Hall of Fame. I really think he's on the outside track. Not going to say the inside because obviously he ain't in there yet. But... I think he's an outside shot to get in, maybe a Jim Rice or a Bird Bly Levin case after being on for a while. But Lee Smith, probably if you talk about closers, he's top 10 in the conversation. He's got to at least be there. A lot of strikeouts, a uh, fairly large amount of saves as well. So hoping one day he'll be in trying to coop his own. But I know his time's running out, so it's probably not going to happen. All right. In person order. Ooh, no, not in person autographs. Why did I get those balls for free? Because I bought this. Really nice. Framed and matted signed photo of old time Yankee great Bobby Mercer. Comes JSA authenticated. Been wanting his autograph forever now. And I'm really happy that I was finally able to get it. Uh, he passed away almost. No, not almost. More than six years ago now. And I've been wanting his autograph for even before he passed, from even before he passed away. So the fact that I finally have one. And it's a really nice 8x10 framed and matted, too. You can't beat that. However, I would still like to add a baseball up into my collection, but that's another battle for another day. All right, now in-person autographs. The only two autographs I paid for uh, to get in person was to finish off my 1967 Strikeout Leaders card. Had to get Ferguson Jenkins and Gaylord Perry on it. Uh, Fergie was great, signed it just the way I asked, Gaylord not so much, and he wasn't very pleasant, didn't want to take a picture either, so whatever with him, but I really like the other two, uh, Bunning and Jenkins, I mean Perry signed it in a dark spot, but you can tell the signature's still there, so not going to complain too much, but really happy to get that card squared away, that's a gorgeous card too now that it's signed by all three guys. Alright, baseballs, I uh, really do not know why I had this guy sign a ball. So I'm and I was like, oh shit, let's make him sign a baseball. But <laughs> manager Bobby Valentine, who was just walking around town, had him sign a ball. I mean, not definitely not one of the greatest, but definitely one of the most memorable personalities. So he's always going to be a name that people are vaguely familiar with. So I guess it's not too bad that I put him on a baseball, but still pretty stupid of me too. Next, on Saturday morning, the day of the parade, I was outside the Hall of Fame with my dad. We were trying to figure out what to do for the day. When I heard a really familiar voice, looked up, my dad and I both let out of no shit. It was Peter Gammons walking down the street. Uh, followed him for about a block and a half. He was walking with Harold Reynolds. They both went into a CVS. I just waited really patiently, and when Peter Gammons came out, I asked him really nicely. He wasn't really happy about having to sign my baseball, but he did nonetheless, so really happy about that. I'm I, 99% sure he's in the Hall of Fame. Doesn't have a plaque, but he's in one of the, either like the, one of the wings for something, for being an analyst, but... I know, that was my water bottle, I know he's in there for something, so, Hall of Fame sports analyst, that is, he is so often introduced on MLB Network, really happy about that, he's actually an autograph I've been wanting for a while, but just didn't want to pay for what they go for, 
And from my understanding, he's not too pleasant, and he's not an easy signature to get, especially on the sweet spot. So really happy I got him additionally on the sweet spot. So, next two autographs. Both Hall of Famers. Got these at the parade. First one being Yankee Hall of Famer Goose Gossage. Uh, signed a baseball on the sweet spot for me and inscribed Hall of Fame 2008. Uh, he was feeling pretty good, let's just say that. Uh, his signature, you could tell he was a little sloppier than usual. But really, really grateful to get him. Always can use Yankees autographs, even if I already have a Gossage baseball. The next one, I said if I can walk away from Cooperstown with one autograph and it not being Joe Torre, it would be this guy. Uh, main reason, I don't have a baseball sign on the sweet spot of him. It's on a baseball commemorating him. And I've been wanting a sweet spot of him for a long time. Had the opportunity to get his autograph a year ago. He skipped over me about 27 times. But I was finally able to lock down Tyler Ripken Jr. on a Major League Baseball. Signed beautifully and blowing for me on the sweet spot. Was absolutely thrilled to get that one. Alright, so that's all I got for now, guys. That was my weekend in Cooperstown. Uh, you guys are going to see recaps where people killed it at the golf course, kind of kicking myself in the ass that I didn't go. But, what are you going to do? Alright, that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to drop a comment. Let me know how, what do you think. Like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Peace.